our, our newborn baby wasn't, he stopped breathing. I picked him up and I started the CPR process. Yeah, I felt a pulse, but I didn't, I couldn't feel the breath on my cheek or anything like that. So I started the process and I called, I told her to call 911. By the time the ambulance got there, I was able to get him breathing again. As soon as I got a moment, I, I picked, picked up the phone and I called Travis and uh, I, I thanked him. I just, I couldn't help it. I had to call him. I know it was late at night, but you know, you had to share, you had to share it with him. I had to thank him because if it wasn't for someone like him who cared about the program, who honestly wanted to do the program and, and make sure that you remembered, then my son might not be here. Probably about a year after I became an instructor, uh, I was standing on a pool deck at a facility in which I was working. Uh, I had several other lifeguards who were all just gone through an ASHI CPR um, pro course with me. And someone alerted us that a 10-year-old boy, um, they assumed he had passed out inside on the floor. So immediately we responded and a staff that was in the room had gone through one of my ASHI CPR courses, uh, was already performing uh, CPR on the child. I remember um, taking on the head immediately with a bag valve mask, oxygen already flowing. Uh, it was just, it was, it's never a, a perfect situation or a right time, but I have to say it was the perfect time. The number of staff that were standing there that had just gone through my CPR course, uh, the ASHI training, uh, just had just done the scenario in a training like two weeks, maybe a week to two weeks before this. Um, so it, it, there wasn't even any talking between us. It just flowed so flawlessly. Um, immediately, I had another lifeguard that was an ASHI trained um, in CPR, beginning on the compressions. Um, we did CPR for probably about five or six minutes um, total, but probably about two minutes into that, a shock, we almost got a rhythm back. And then I remember after the next shock, he actually came too, um, which was just amazing. And after that, EMS did arrive um, and ended up, ended up transferring care to them. But to realize that we had a kid, 10 years old, um, that just so happens wasn't picked up on time that day, so he was still there. Had basically gone into cardiac arrest. We had to do CPR on him and realized that when he left, he was screaming. And uh, yeah, he was in pain, but it was just the most encouraging thing to see. And to know that he is still around today and we still get to see him today, that we could have lost a 10 year old kid that, you know, we just saw, hey, this is one of the kids that comes in all the time, great kid. And to look at him and go, wow, you know, he's here because we did what we were trained to do through the ASHU program.